don't fall for the social media hype it's completely fake right like you don't know me i don't know you you don't know anything that's in my real life i'm just speaking to you in a camera and i can offer good advice or Derek could offer good advice for all you know i could be living a completely double standard the social media is as the kids like to say and i noticed that Derek jackson who is a social media influencer whose old claim to fame is how to treat women right and why women don't settle for less than what you're worth and you know men cheat because of this and men cheat because of that men cheat because of this um is a cheer is a it's a cheater he, he's a cheater of, of, of course he is because the internet now look this isn't to make like a quick gossip point or anything like that and it's definitely not to get any type of internet fame views or clout i would never do that no seriously this is really just to say like i was reading the comments because this kind of was interesting to me because i know who he is I, I haven't watched a lot of his videos but um honestly he gave some pretty good accurate information i didn't agree with everything he said or disagreed with everything he said i know he became a controversial figure for some men but honestly he gave really good advice and so when people heard that he was cheating on his wife no matter all the stuff they're going through in a relationship wasn't perfect a lot of people are disappointed right uh now there's so much to deconstruct about who Derek is and about his writing and his videos books but i don't really want to focus on that what I want to give is just a quick word of encouragement is like, don't fall for the social media hype. It's completely fake, right? Like you don't know me. I don't know you. You don't know anything that's in my real life. I'm just speaking to you in a camera and I can offer good advice or Derek could offer good advice for all you know, I could be living a completely double standard. I have him and his wife came out with this very cringy video please don't watch it it's literally one of the cringiest things i've ever watched on you know why he was cheating and what their plan is and how she's sticking to him and all that stuff there i mean i kind of rolled my eyes to the whole thing i didn't even watch the whole thing but the thing that interests me most was mostly the comments because that's what i really want to read how people are responding to it uh, I mean, a lot of people just didn't believe what he was saying um, and thought it was nonsense. Of course, the comments usually have the most negative thing. But then there is these comments, a lot of them where people were like genuinely disappointed. People were shocked. People are hurt. And the comments don't even represent so much of people who probably were hurt, who are mostly women, who were hurt by this man's action of someone he didn't know, someone who they respected and was looking advice to. I mean, he was selling a book. I think it's out. You know, he's promoting his book on how about relationship healing and all this stuff. So this is his whole stick. His whole stick is how to be how men don't like women don't accept less than what you deserve and why men cheat and how to have a healthy relationship to find out that his relationship is not healthy and that he was a cheater and that him and his wife have been having issues and they've only been married four years. I don't know why we would take advice from someone who's been married for years year so what can you guys take from this what can we take from the whole Derek jackson thing here and that is do not buy into social media hype but instead find people in your life who can actually give you solid advice that you get to live with consistently and when i say live with i mean doing real community with seeing the relationship when they're tired seeing the relationship when they're hungry seeing the relationship when their kids are having issues and just understanding their story so to all the christians out there or really just anyone my prayer for you is to find an older couple right an older couple who is like 40 years 50 years married who's been through some stuff that's a relationship that you should be looking towards too it's not going to be flashy it's not going to be quick and easy 30 second videos instead what it's going to be is something that's way more solid and real and that's something i've been praying for as well is finding a spiritual father and mother and that is uh, something i think is very important is to find people in your life who can actually be an example for you and how to live these things out so i don't know i just thought it was interesting i thought that there was like a good positive message out of this out of all this mess is that 
instead of focusing on the mess of people and and all the problems they have is that you know we can take this the failures of someone else and avoid it and see what we can do to be better um so i don't know what do you guys think uh do you think i'm off do you think i'm wrong am i just getting the internet clout because i promise i would never just do anything for internet clout anyway guys this is james with this beautiful crazy life i'll catch you guys later all i got is questions i ain't ever hold no answers bet you sick of hearing lessons from a dude who got no handle yeah all i got is questions i never